Your girl can see. Yo, I did not know it was this amazing outside. Oh my God. The mirror is up. Oh my god, it looks so good. Finally came. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the mirror is up. So cute. If you're going out, you can be like, check yourself. You got boogers? <laughs> what? Yeah, I like it. It looks good. going through the things that I got from Target. Bear with me, the lighting might not be the best, but y'all just gotta, you know. So these are some of the first things. I got these full stems. These are from the Heart and Hand collection. I love these. So I got not one, but two of these. And these were $7.99 a piece, so I got those. I also got these, um, faux stems these have like pine and the little cones on there which i thought was amazing it's giving christmas so i got two of these uh yeah and i also got two of these so let's just say i spent like 30 something dollars on these but i think they look really good um i'm going to remove my olive branches that I've been rocking and I'm going to add the stems to my vase to give it a more Christmassy feel so that's the first thing I also got this vase guys um it's an arrangement it has the vase this I want to try and put it in my um in my little nook that's right by my entryway so we're gonna try that out this was twenty dollars no thirty five dollars sorry it comes with a vase and i feel like even though it's giving greenery it's giving christmas it will still look good after christmas so that's one i got this wreath guys i'm really hoping y'all can see and the lighting isn't too bad because yeah i can't really see in the viewfinder right now but I got this. You'll see details of these when I put it on. When I put them up, I'll show it to you. But this wreath, I think, was like thirty-something dollars. I don't remember. 
because I couldn't find the price tag but it's on my receipt it's so nice and very neutral it's definitely me it has the pine and then the little brown love that so it matches great with me um, I bought a few like value items as well but I got this they, these are the bottom tree brushes bottom brush trees and I got these like nude looking ones these were $15 I think I might try styling them on my coffee table and I might try making it more Christmassy I don't know but we'll see how that goes um, I got this other set and this was $9.99 this is a tabletop arrangement I plan on putting it on above my sink I'll show you that in a minute but I think these look really, really good. Hopefully y'all are seeing me and it's not too much shadows up in here. Um, I also got this mini tree, which I think looks so cute. This is from the Heart and Hands collection, another Magnolia find. This is $4.99. They had like three sizes. I got the smallest one because I'm gonna put it by my sink where my soap is. So I think that's cool. I also, oh, I got these guys, these little reindeers. They are, um, they were three dollars i like that the fact that it's black and it's a set of three so i think that looks really really good so i got that um i did get two candles that were really cheap so i got this candle for three dollars because i like the green and i think it matches with the whole christmas christmas theme there's another candle over there you'll see it when i put this stuff up and i also got a mat i'll show you the mat that i got my front door i'm gonna put it out right now and i'm gonna put these stuff at the places that i think i want to put them so y'all will see that accent i'm coming my puppy's getting upset at me but let me just arrange them so y'all can see but i feel like i got some really good finds and they weren't that expensive i also got some towels guys i'm sorry some towels for the sink I wanted like Christmas towels, but I hated like the ones that said Merry Christmas, like it was so cliche and was bothering me. So I got some from the Magnolia line, like the green sort of match in and also like the green and white. So we're gonna see how that hey guys, looks. good morning. So today is the big day. Today is the day of my LASIK surgery. If this is your first time here, this is the first time you won't see me in my glasses and the last time, girl. I will not be wearing glasses or contacts anymore. Thank you, God. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. And I'm gonna be late. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I just never seem to know like time. So I just called the Uber, it's three minutes away and if you hear a crying in the background, Paxton is crying because this boy didn't see me got my bag and I put him in his crate so he know he's not coming. So he's depressed. Oh my god. Look at that. I'm crying. It's a sad face for me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see him. But that boy, once I get my bag, that boy starts acting up. He knows I'm leaving because I did get the bag and he's seen me get the bag. So he's sad. But anyways, guys, I have to go. Um, I will bring my camera. I will try and vlog. I don't know how, how much I would even be able to vlog, but I'm going to get LASIK on my eyes. If you have been watching me before, you know that I can't see for nothing. I can see here. And nothing beyond that so this is like a big thing for me this is like a very big day let me let me move while i talk and i gotta go to my car to get the um slides that i want to wear but we're gonna leave because the uber is almost here um i'm so nervous guys i'm so nervous i'm so excited but this doctor has performed over fifty thousand different surgeries like this so i know i'm in good hands let me just wear these to the car and switch my shoes out I'm supposed to be there for 11.45. It's 11.34 right now, but yeah. Hey guys, so I made it. I am late, but that's okay. I am kind of sad right now. Mm -hmm. I'm the red. Guys, I just got done. Everything is blurry. Um, my Uber came, so I'm just gonna go outside. My eyes are so heavy, they gave me a sedative. So I have to go home and just go to sleep. Um, I'm gonna check in later. But right now, everything looks like I'm underwater. That's what it looks like. Just 
a quick check in. You see what I have to deal with? I'm trying to update y'all. This is what I have to deal with. Like, I know he needs attention because he's been by himself for the most of today. Um, okay, what was I seeing? So I was advised Paxson to come home and sleep for four, keep my eyes closed for four hours minimum four or more so i did it for four hours i slept because it was like in the day and it was still kind of weird to be going to sleep in the day so i slept for four hours um i slept i was at sleeping from four and i i got up at like 8 15 because i know that i had to get paxton food because he didn't have his food at the last time he had food was in the morning so i, I felt so horrible so i got up at at um 8 15 and fed him and now it's 9 12 it's been like an hour he's still out because he's been locked up all day and i just didn't feel like good that he couldn't you know get to come out and play and stuff like that but anyways update on my eyes um i can see but it's still hazy when i just came out everything was just like i was underwater that's what it looked like i have some drops to use i'm supposed to use them breakfast lunch dinner bedtime so thus far because i had my um procedure done so late in the evening i think i got my eyes done at like um like three ish there about or three something i don't know because I was able to get it, get home and go to sleep at four. So maybe like three-ish, I'm gonna check. But um, when I just came out, I couldn't really see. I could see, but I couldn't really see. It was just like hazy, like I was underwater. Now I think I can see, but it's just hazy. I don't know how to explain it. And they did say, is this boy trying to jump to touch the camera? Like the tripod stick, oh my God. Bro. Yeah. Paxton, come on. I think you want to potty. <laughs> but, um, I dealt with Paxton. You know, my brain is all over the place. I fed him. I did order some food on Uber Eats because ain't nobody going to be cooking nothing or doing anything like that right now. I can't do that. So I ordered some food on Uber Eats and I ate. I'm going to go to sleep again my eyes feel like there's stuff in it that's how i can explain it um i have my handy dandled goggles that i was sleeping in the, the print was on my face when i woke up but i have my goggles they weren't bad like honestly after when going to sleep with these on i slept i mean i was so tired and the pills that they gave me i was i was out literally i wish i still had the pills that the doctor gave me before the procedure because that made me want to sleep and that um slowed me down but these are my goggles i'm gonna put them on so we can go to sleep um i'm just waiting on paxton to go to the bathroom again but yeah guys that's it i i can see i feel like it's like having my glasses on but they they need a clean you know what i mean um, he did say I should try turning on the TV after, you know, after my nap and, you know, like watching the TV a little bit. I don't know. But I have my follow up at 9.15. I'm going to drive there. <laughs> he told me that I'll be able to drive myself. So I'm going to do that at 9.15 and I'll check back in with y'all tomorrow when I go to the follow up and I will have a full like video about this the cost da 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 but if I, if it was beneficial if it worked so I'll, I'll have all that i'm just gonna go to sleep and wait back up and then do the drops i'll probably record doing the drops i'll try but the doctor the, the um the doctor not the surgeon the doctor that i actually saw was just like go home rest no vlogging um <laughs> no youtube just go home and rest the more you close your eyes the better it will be for the the healing process and the quicker you'll be able to see properly say night night vaccine okay, so i'm here for my follow-up exam um i'm seeing pretty good everything is just like a little hazy but i'm waiting for my doctor to come in and we're gonna test my eyes and see how it's going 
uh, he's here. <laughs> hey guys, so um, I just went to Kohl's. We are still in front of Kohl's. I went to return that gold mirror that I bought from my filming room. You know that little mirror that I put in my like Pax wardrobe? I returned that um because I felt like it was too small. And also that oversized harness that we got for Paxton, I returned that. You know that one that, that was weighing him down? Yeah, I returned that. Um I'm vlogging on my old camera because I left my other camera in the back of my car and it was dead. So um the battery i'm gonna put it back under the seat the battery of the um of this one is full surprisingly so i'm just like oh whatever oh shoot i just hit the camera okay so i plan on going to kohl's um starving we're always starving but what's new i plan on going to kohl's um then i wanted to go to michael's and I also wanted to go to Hobby Lobby. And then I wanted to go to H&M. But guess what? I came on the road at 10.30. Paxton is supposed to get out at 12 o'clock. So, I don't think we're going to Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I feel like I have to go home first and come back. Uh, and that sucks. But where the Kohl's is, um, there is a Home Goods right there. So, I'm going to go in Home Goods real quick to see if we find anything. The last time we went in Home Goods, it was just like real ghetto. There was nothing for the holidays, and I'm really trying to get a Christmas tree. So, we are going to try to see if we can get that Christmas tree up in there. Oh, and in Kohl's, I did my Amazon return. Bro, I look so dark. It's so overcast outside. Maybe it's the sunglasses. I don't know. Because your girl still is very sensitive to light. It's day two of having vision. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so I still have to wear sunglasses. The other ones are like real dark the ones that i had on yesterday but i like these more because they're like bigger but anyways um i got these candles and coals they gave me like this five dollar off thing for returning my amazon thing so i used it so i got this this smells good like it smells like a it says trimming the tree it smells like a tree so i want to like burn this after i put my christmas tree up so it gives like that christmas vibe like i have a real christmas tree when i really don't got a real christmas tree um and i also got this one because i think it's so pretty walking in the winter wonderland i love the thing and it smells so yummy it just smells like home like christmas like kind of like cinnamony i don't know but i like that and y'all yeah, my car needed a a thing so we found this in there. This is sage and citrus. It smells actually good. And y'all, the home goods is right there. Can y'all see that? I feel like I'm just gonna walk over there. It's not that far. I'm gonna walk because I'm not about to move my car and can't get anywhere to park because everybody and their mother is at the mall. Well, not really at the mall, but everybody's outside. It's the holidays, so I mean, I guess. Are y'all even seeing me? It feels so weird to use this camera again let me find my keys so we can close the car and let me hurry up because paxton is gonna kill me respectfully my dog is tired of me but um i have not vlogged in a long time with my camera in my hand without a stand but let's do this um yeah let's get into the store with the quickness so we can get home and i hope they have stuff they never have nothing as of late it's just so ghetto and home goods oh my god the store is so full like i can see a lot of people coming out and going in from right here your girl can see yo i did not know it was this amazing outside oh my god guys i'm heading straight to like the decorative section i can already tell that they just have bs um, not the very best selection. I think I'm going to Target. Um, this this looks very fake. I think we have to get a tree first, but I definitely want gold and white and black ornaments. This one is broken already. What the heck? Yeah, that one is broken. That sucks, but. This is a flocked tree, like I wanted a flocked Christmas tree. But baby. Okay. 
Guys, Home Goods is busting my balls. Literally, it's stressing me out because I don't get what's going on with these decorations. Like, these are horrible. Okay. So, I think we need to leave. Guys, I think my camera was on like manual or something. I don't even know. It's like I forgot how to actually use this camera. I don't even know if I'm gonna post these footage because right now it looks like the footage is so ugly. But I just pulled up to H and M. Um, girl, it's 11:57, so we're not gonna stay long in H and M at all. Let me drink some more. This will get a raid because I'm starving still. So we gotta hurry up so I can go take Paxton outside. Um, I'm just gonna grab what I can. Hopefully I find some stuff in H&M. And then I'm going to grab food and then we're gonna go. I'm gonna use my phone in the store. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love. So after taking the Christmas tree guys out of the box, setting it up, it doesn't light up and it's a used tree. I found pieces of like extension cords, pieces of Christmas lights in the box and I figured it was used but I'm just like okay if it lights up I'm not going to be bothered to bringing it back. It does not light up. I was so upset. I literally took it down and went back to Walmart that said evening and got my money back. I should have known because I ordered online from them and I didn't get the tree the first time and they canceled my order. Then I still went to the store and got another tree from them. I should have just let it go from the first time. But yeah guys, the tree was a fail. Guys, so it's been a minute since I like checked in. Last you heard me, I was trying to get that tree returned to Walmart. So that was like a whole story to itself. But I got the tree returned yesterday now. I went to Michael's. I found this tree. Um, it's right here. We have a tree. It was on sale for $139. But let me tell you how I went online and the said tree is on sale right now for $89. So I called Michaels and the lady told me to bring it back. So not bring it back, bring the receipt back so they could give me a credit. I don't know what's been going on with me with trying to get a Christmas tree. I'm kind of over it. But anyways, I hopped on here because I done went to Ikea and I think I kind of have like a media thing. I think I kind of do. Um, I picked out some items. That's one of them. I picked out some items that I think could possibly be a media console for now because the media console I was gonna buy was 1500. I just put my eye drops in, my eyes are so watery. But it was like 1500 and I don't think I wanna do that, especially with the fact that when I move, I might not like it and it might not be the vibe or whatever because whenever I move from here, I'm definitely getting like a bigger space. That's my intent, so. I'm currently waiting on the task rabbit guy to come upstairs. Uh, he was able to like fit me in. So 
I'm waiting on him. I don't know. He said he was parking or whatever. So I'm waiting on him. So I'm going to show you guys when it's done, what that's, what that's looking like. And then hopefully it works out how I have it in my mind. And then we're going to assembly or assemble or Christmas tree. I'm going to just take it out of like the packaging or whatever. And just see what it looks like after that is assembled. I do believe I have to take away Paxton's stuff and like move those things for him and y'all. I was sort of arranging um, my Christmas little vibe on my coffee table, but I'll show you that when I do like the little Christmas decorating video that I want to do. Um, so we're going to do the tree. I haven't bought anything much to go on the tree to be honest because I don't like a lot of stuff. So we'll see how that works, but let's just get this thing put together and hopefully it makes sense. Okay, so it's like coming together. Look at that. Exactly what I needed. The perfect height. I'm gonna put the two doors in. I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. Yay. For this moment. Guys, so this is what the TV unit is looking like. I love it. I think it's so perfect. Paxton, look at this mad boy. Because I'm vacuuming <coughs> vacuum the car. So up. Can you stop it? <coughs> but look at how good it looks. Oh my god. I love it. <coughs> I feel like if I got the, the one that was lower, it wouldn't <coughs> been as good pack sun it would not have been as good this little boy never barks but once i take the vacuum cleaner out he starts acting wild but doesn't it look really good oh my god christmas tree time well i'm gonna vacuum finish vacuuming this carpet and because of the kind of material you have to like use that without the blade so we're gonna do that pack sun, are you dead ass and then i'm gonna put the stuff back and then i'm gonna put the christmas tree up I'm wondering if I need to take away this in order to have the Christmas tree, but then I probably will put the Christmas tree here or the, I don't know. So we're deciding what to do, but I love this a lot. I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm glad I added just the two little things that makes it look really cute. And then I still have enough space to put, um, like probably like a decorative book. I don't know, but I'm happy, super, super happy. And it's not extremely like wide either. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be so big. I feel like it's good. I like the space of it. And I had to move my carpet from under the couch some more just so it would meet right here. So it just lines up really nicely. I love this, okay, love this. Now we gotta put everything back. And I have some Christmas stuff that I'm trying to put in. So we're gonna put that in. This boy is barking at the vacuum cleaner. Okay, cool. Cool, Paxton. 